Hello viewers, welcome to Adbandhun YouTube channel. I am Mohamad Shohan Raman Shohag with you. Now I am telling about difference between squiddle case rotor and wound rotor. If you are new to my channel, please be subscribed and stay with me. Press the bell icon for more my video. Squiddle case rotor. The squiddle case rotor is the most popular rotor in induction motor. It is very commonly used in industries because it is very cheap, robust, efficient and reliable. Wound Rotor A wound rotor is a type of induction motor where the rotor windings are connected through slip rings to external resistance. Adjusting the resistance allows control of speed or torque characteristic of the motor. The slip ring rotor or wound rotor has very little application in industries. Some simple difference between slip ring and squiddle case rotor. In the slip ring type rotor consists of three phase winding similar to that of the stator winding. In the squiddle case type rotor consists of bars which are shorted at the end with the help of in rings. In the slip ring type rotor, resistance can be added externally. In squiddle case type rotor, external resistance addition is not possible as the rotor is permanently shorted by the in ring. In the slip ring type rotor, high starting torque can be obtained. In squiddle case type rotor, only moderate starting torque is obtained and it cannot be controlled. In slip ring type rotor, construction is complicated, while construction of squirrel case type is simple. Only 5% of induction motors in industry use slip ring type rotor. Squirrel case type rotor is most commonly used in industries by 95%. In the slip ring type rotors, slip ring and brushes are present to add external resistance. While in squirrel case type rotor, slip ring and brushes are absent. Construction is delicate in slip ring type rotor and due to brushes, frequent maintenance is necessary. In squirrel case type rotor, the construction is reversed and frequent maintenance is not necessary. Slip ring type, the rotor must be wound for the same number of poles as that as stator. In squiddle case type, the rotor adjusts itself automatically for the same number of poles as that as stator. The slip ring rotors are costly. But squiddle case rotors are cheap due to simple construction. In slip ring type rotor, the rotor copper loss is high and hence low efficiency. But in squiddle case type rotor, it's not possible to speed control. In slip ring type rotor, speed control by rotor resistance is possible. In squiddle case type rotor, the rotor copper loss is low and hence high efficiency. Slip ring type rotor is used in lifts, hoist, cranes, elevators, etc. Squiddle case type rotor is used in fans, blower, water pumps, etc. So viewers, that's my video. If you like my video, please like and share my video to your friends. Thanks for watching my video. Thanks for being with me.